Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to efficiently and effectively use Copilot again with the help of Python in the Excel environment. So let's uh, quickly understand that what primary things we need to do first. Uh, the very first thing is that you should have Excel 365 latest version. And let me show you what kind of version I'm using currently. So on the very top, left side you will find the file tab okay so you have to click on this then you will click on account and that will show you uh, the version which you will be using so currently i'm using the subscription product okay and that is microsoft 365 which is a licensed and paid version and i'm using currently the beta channel uh, microsoft 365 insider program and this is my current build version okay which i'm uh, showing it to you so make sure that after watching the video when you will be applying all the logics so you should have a similar kind of version where you can test the copilot and python environment in microsoft excel now what we have is we have the fortune 500 companies data where we have a certain columns like company names of fortune 500 okay their rankings their revenue their revenue change um, numbers their profits okay and the number of employees they have the website their location country so we have uh, a certain collapse to this data and we need to perform uh, some analytics on it now for example as a novice user or as a very beginner to the python language so for example i don't know python but i have this version and eventually i have the copilot uh, there available so I don't need to write even a single code of Python by myself okay but eventually uh, there could be a debate that in future do I need to learn programming from from the very scratch yes the significant importance of programming will be there likewise I mean if you are a modern Excel user you should understand and use uh, start using the power query M language you should start using power pivot for DAX and data modeling uh, eventually uh, you should learn about prompt engineering to use ai built models uh, eventually copilot is there in almost all the microsoft environment now okay and also we can test the python uh, in inside the excel environment so yes there could be a significant importance to learn the languages itself but i mean copilot is there to help the business users not to go very deep in the programming side okay now that's what my point of view is there could be a different uh, conversation or perspective now so i have a data and let's say i have given some questions for example i'm doing my assignment and um, i will solve this entire assignment with the help of uh, a copilot that is ai based model so these are certain questions likewise show top 10 rows of the data frame show the info of your data frame uh, show the shape of your data frame column names uh, show the last 15 rows using dot tail function okay uh, we need to rename the columns such as website and employees to the websites and headcount so i have already highlighted if you can see we need to rename these two headers with the help of python code okay so we'll using that and then uh, based on the revenue column we need to perform the descriptive statistic so we have a column name as revenues and we need to perform like mean median mode count okay these are the things so i will i will not be writing any single code i mean the entire thing will be done by the copilot itself now let's get started so the very first thing was to have the latest excel excel version then next thing is that you need to select the entire data and convert into a table format so i will go to the insert tab and then i will click on table and make sure you check mark my table as headers click ok okay so now it's being converted as a structure format as a table format okay now i will click on copilot on the very right side the first thing is that you need to remember uh, you need to turn on the auto save okay so i will click on this turn on auto save and that will upload on my onedrive personal account okay all right so now the copilot is there so the very first thing which i will be doing here is that i will click on show data insights so let's click 
Now see, after the results, we have a uh, option here, get deeper analysis results using Python. Okay, so I will click here and it says that I can use advanced analysis for that, create a new sheet for the results, automatically write and insert Python formulas, answer your prompt in multiple messages. Okay, so we'll click on start advanced anal analysis and it insert a sheet called analysis one okay and it will take few seconds wow so it has created a data frame and it's showing a preview okay all right so it also suggesting me to extract these question answers from this data inside but we'll what we'll do is we have already some questions and see we don't need to write even a single code uh, for the python inside excel environment what we'll do is use this uh, message box here okay so i will i'm just copy and pasting my first question that is show the top 10 rows of the data frame just copy and paste enter and i'm showing you how easy and efficient it is okay and showing me see top 10 rows so i don't need to write any code here okay i mean that's awesome thing right the next question is that uh, show the info of your data frame. Let's copy and paste. Simple, very easy. Make sure that you have a good internet connection, stable internet connection. Okay. All right. So it's showing me here that uh, so we have 17 columns. Okay. And it's showing me a uh, number of rows there could be might be some blanks as well the column names awesome okay then okay then next question is that show the shape of your data frame let's copy paste okay so it will read and it shows me there are uh, 500 rows and 17 columns that it shows me here right then another question let's say show the last 15 rows using the dot tail function let me copy this and paste here so now you can understand that how easy it is if you have a certain data and you just writing your questions and copilot is basically answering your questions okay now you will find a, a or you will observe a small thing here that they're, they're showing three dots here a, a raw which is showing three dots here why because we have a limited space um, to show the entire results on this excel spreadsheet this is might be due to the settings in the environment but uh, we can write here and, and we can say that show me the entire results rather than showing these kind of dots okay now next another question is we need to rename the change the column labels okay so i will writing a question copying the question here pasting it here question here let's just press enter key and let's see if copilot is able to do that so it says working on it all right so it says that the column labels website and employees have been successfully renamed okay so so i will say that show the column names of my data frame again okay let's copy and paste that so now as you can see that my column header website now has been renamed as websites and employees has been renamed as headcount all right so another question is that based on revenues column perform the descriptive statistics so let's copy and let's paste here press the enter key now it will show us the results in next few seconds let's wait for a few seconds now understanding your data all right so here it is uh, okay so the descriptive statistics for the based on the revenues column we have count mean standard deviation minimum and then percentiles okay the maximum is here see how cool is it okay so everything is being done by copilot and and i don't need to write any code of python by myself even i can go more in detail uh, just asking the questions here so I, if i'm doing an, any kind of assignment of a university or even a real-time analytics for my organization if i have the latest version i can perform the python uh, in the excel environment very easily uh, might be there are 
certain few limitations at this point of time as we are in 2025 but most probably within one or two years there could be more development uh, uh, with the microsoft and anaconda platform teams uh, to integrate uh, some uh, use cases on the big data as well so this is an exciting time uh, we are going through with the artificial intelligence i hope you like this video thank you